everyone, it's Mr. T here again from the party coast of Dominican Republic. In the previous documentary, I covered the topic of live music for the Sasua Cabaretta area, where in this documentary, we are instead going to focus on the cool hangout and party spots, whether that be day or night time. The main focus will be on Sasua, however, I'll also include a bit about Cabaretta and Puerto Plata. Are we going to take them one by one? Here we go. All right, the first place on the list today is Flip Flop, which is located in Sasua. They have two locations, one on the beach, which I'll show you, as well as the one that I'm standing in, which is in Beachway Plaza. Here we've got the sports bar, and behind the camera lady, actually, I've got Cerise Fairfax to help me here. We have a taco shop, so I'm going to show you a bit of the food. But a real cool place, you always meet lots of interesting people. Take a look. mentioned earlier, Flip Flop also has their beach restaurant, which is located just a short walk into the beach at Casita number 38. It's absolutely magic there and you can hang out and enjoy cool drinks in the shade while enjoying the breathtaking view. And optionally you can also book a party either on land or out on their party boat having a great time while floating around in the bay. All in all, Flip Flop has it all. No place like a Flip Flop! Alright, one of the next places we're going to check behind me here is Slimmerstuben. It's a good hangout, a very popular hangout, where people just like to enjoy sitting behind the bench, enjoying a drink and watching the foot traffic come past. Let's check it a bit closer. Slimmerstuben is well known for having great prizes on their food and drinks, and they also have a great reputation for their tasty meals. Before continuing, we are quickly going to hear from a local expat called Alan, as to where he enjoys hanging out. I've got Alan Churchill with me here. You've seen him in other videos before. Thanks for being on camera. Alan, what do you think is the best spot for you to hang out or party at here in Sasua? Well, I don't do a lot of partying, but I do hang out. I hang out at El Condi restaurant. Uh, and I usually go into Slimmer Stoopies and I have a lunch once in a while. And Slimmer, Slimmer Stoopman is actually right over here, this one. Yeah. yeah. And then at Bourbon Street I like as well. They're, they got a nice spot there. And Which like is the right other. behind you. Let it's me right just do me, a yeah. little side step there guys. Bourbon Street. Yes, those, yeah. are, those are my favorite spots here. Yeah. In terms of games, is that something you're right into watching all the sports? or? I, I like watching sports, but I my day circles around the gym. Not, not, not necessarily sports, but I do enjoy basketball when it comes. Excellent. Well, thank you for your comments and uh, the, the night is young. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Alan. No problem. Just to the left of Slimmerstube, you'll find another popular spot called Hotel Centralen, or the Central, which has a window bench where guests can sit and enjoy drinks while observing the foot traffic. In this German-run hangout, you'll be sure to meet folks from all over the planet, and the music here varies just as much as the mixed cultures. Definitely worth a visit. The next happening spot is Meringue Bar with its connected Club 59 Disco upstairs. And party folks from all over the country come to Sasua, especially to this specific spot, to mingle with the sometimes generous tourists pay visit to this place. Often the party starts at Meringue and then later folks head upstairs to the disco. So if you like a crowd and powerful music, then come join the action. Right here we have the beer garden with a few takeaway stores, stairways up to the shops up there. Yeah. 
So I'm here with Sherm, the owner of the Treehouse Bar and Grill, and you got one uh, down on the beach as well as here in the beer garden. Yes, we do. So uh, winning edges, because there's a lot of uh, cool places and hangouts in this video. What makes you the spot for people to come to? Well, here at the plaza, we're the spot. We got Sahib, we got Orlando, we're here playing chess. Um, friendly competition, we're having a great time. We got music videos, we have the games. And come and visit us. We Fabulous love parties. Want to see some. You run some seriously big parties on the beach as well. Absolutely. Anything Absolutely. coming up? Um, Halloween, we have uh, two big parties coming up. We have a group from Chicago and another group. And um, it's going to be a good time. We're going to have a house music session and also a 70s session. If you like 70s music, uh, old school rock and roll, uh, we're going we're gonna to be rocking and rolling. Excellent. And I can vouch that they have fabulous food down here. So come and give the Treehouse Lounge Bar and Grill. Is that, did I say it right? Absolutely. Come shake my hand and we'll give you a free mama water. We're looking forward to seeing you. Excellent. Thanks, Sherm. Oh, always a lot of action here. Right. <laughs> okay. See you around. He's just uh, indulging himself in a new type of fish. What do we got here, Sherm? We have Dorado. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is called the, the, the kitchen. There you go. If you're looking for something a little bit more relaxed, where you can dine with friends or family and enjoy some entertainment at the same time, then Sinatra's is the perfect place. They've got musicians and bands performing there frequently. Also, they're well known for serving delicious meals and offering great specials. So let's have a quick listen and look at their place. around the corner from where Roomba used to be we have something called Blue Ice Piano Bar next to that there's another place called Montreal and there's some girls running from police there we go welcome to Sassua straight to Angelo and he'll rock us all. <laughs> there we go. Let's have a look. Here we have something called Sonda Bar, which is just around the corner from where Roomba used to be as well. And then we have a very happening place where a lot of Dominicans especially like to come dancing called Prentium Disco Bar and Cafe, next to some clothing stores here. Dance hard or go home, boys. <laughs> okay. And the next place here is Susua Lights, where you can definitely dance hard. And some folks might not even want to go home.
out of all the cool hangouts and party spots, I'd say that Plan B is one of the most multicultural. And at their karaoke events, you'll be able to enjoy listening to some of the best karaoke singers in the country. But I'll let you be the judge of that. All in all, you're just another break in the... Continue just a few party spot suggestions by Taylor Made. At night, I like to go out. If you like the party scene, you can club hop in Puerto Plata. You got great clubs. You got Club Miami, Caviar. If you like the strip club, you got Crystals. You got different clubs up in Puerto Plata. Um, Cabaretti got some nice spots too. You got Mojito spot. You got Kahunas. You got um, Goddess. Which is really cool. Goddess is a really nice, yeah. It really is nice. So I go to Goddess sometime in the daytime, too. Sometimes I go over there for lunch, get there about one, between one and three. Goddess always have happy hours, so it's always two for one. It's the only place that I know 24 hours happy hour. 24 hour happy hour. Hey, always cool to have you on board here. Yeah? You too, Mr. Chiditi. It's always great to see you, man. Make sure you check this brother's channel out. Like I said, I always tell people, Mr. T is the professor, I'm the student that broke off. <laughs> Peace. Cheers. Cheers. Not every day that we get to drink together, but uh, we've got a wild cameraman here. He's all over the map. Now, if you wonder what time the bars and clubs shut down, well, that can change a lot. Sometimes it's midnight, sometimes it's one in the morning, sometimes two if it's weekends. 
It's the municipality with their police forces that come and threaten the business owners that they must shut down at certain hours, not caring if they strangle an otherwise good economy. The business owners, they just want to retain their sovereign right to run their businesses the way they see fit. However, in Sasua there are, at this moment, two clubs that operate till late in the morning. One is called Latin Club, located in the Playa Chiquita Casino. Let's take a look at that first and then I'll show you the other one in a moment. The second after hour club is in the Sasua Bay Casino, which is located fairly close to the town centre. Let's check this as well. I know Mr. T from internet, from YouTube, and it's nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Yeah, hi. These are my new good friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, you've seen a lot of places so far. Now I'm going to speed it up a little bit because I really want you to know the full spectrum of cool places where you can also just hang out at the bar or come with a group of people at a nice table and enjoy drinks and food. Behind me here, we have the first one of those, Bailey's.
right, folks, thank you so much for watching to this point, and I hope you'll check out some of these great party places and good hangouts. Now, if you're thinking of relocating down here, then I can highly recommend that you hire me for at least a couple of hours to try me out to start with as your consultant, because a lot of people come down here trying to figure it out themselves and take blind picks in the marketplace of tradespeople or suppliers only to get ripped off, or they don't know how to go about a lot of different things. So an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. I also have a video in my channel about my relocation advisory service, so feel free to check that out. Send me an email to info at educatedtraveler.info and I'll send you my price plan and we can talk from there. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.